The California three-way is a rare and now illegal wiring method not known by many electricians. A few counties in California had requirements where you couldn't run more than three conductors in certain raceways. Over the years, the California method was discovered and used by electricians from other parts of the country. So they are out there and they can be confusing to wire when replacing switches. So in this video, I'll show you how they're wired, how they actually work, and then we'll take a look at the code book and figure out why they're not compliant for use today. Hey guys, John here with Backyard Maine. I spent 40 years in the electrical industry and now I wanna share my experience with you. Welcome to the channel. There are actually four methods used to wire three-way switches, which I'll cover in this four video series. The Chicago three-way, which I made a video on last week, the California three-way, which we'll cover right now. Then we have the dead-end three-way and the standard three-way, which is the most common and widely accepted method used today. Let's go to the whiteboard. Up here, we have our hot and our neutral coming into our first receptacle. We'll call this receptacle one. Then we have our first three-way switch, we'll call switch one. Our second three-way, switch two. And up here, another receptacle, we'll call receptacle two. Then of course, up here we have our light. We're going to carry unswitched power from receptacle one to switch one to switch two and then on to receptacle two. And our neutral will bypass the switches altogether. And then of course, each switch will control our light. Three-way switches have two gold screws for our travelers and one black screw for our common. But remember, this is not a standard three-way method, so these switches are gonna be wired differently. First, we'll take a black hot wire from receptacle one down to one of the gold traveler screws on switch one. It doesn't matter which screw. Now we'll connect our switches together. We'll take a black hot wire from our gold traveler screw on switch one over to the gold traveler screw on switch two. Next, we'll carry our black hot wire from the traveler screw on switch two up to receptacle two. Our white neutral wire from receptacle one will bypass our switches altogether and go directly to receptacle two. We now have a complete circuit path from receptacle one all the way over to receptacle two. Our line power comes from receptacle one, goes down to switch one, across to switch two, and up to the receptacle. Then our neutral return returns current back to the source. So receptacle two will now have power regardless of the position of our three-way switches. And our receptacle circuit can continue on to other lights and receptacles as well. Now we need to connect our light switches and our light. We'll take a red wire from the traveler screw on switch one over to the traveler screw on switch two. Now we're going to take a black wire from our common screw on switch one across to the common screw on switch two. Bear with me, this is all gonna make sense in a minute. Next, we'll take a red switch leg wire from our traveler screw on switch two up to the black hot lead on our light. Then our white neutral wire will extend from receptacle two over to the white lead on our light. And of course, each location will have ground wires as well. And that's it, our wiring is done. Now, this is a completely unconventional way to wire three-way switches, and I'm sure it looks confusing. Next, I'll walk you through exactly how it works and why it's a code violation. But first, I need to take one minute to introduce you to Sunday, the sponsor of today's video. We're just coming into spring here in Maine, and my lawn needs some love. This year, I've decided to use a lawn care plan from Sunday. I love Sunday for three reasons. First, it's going to feed my lawn exactly what it needs to grow, without any harsh chemicals or pesticides. This is important to me because we like to spend a lot of time out in the yard. Second, Sunday makes it super easy to order a customized lawn care plan tailored to your specific location. And it's shipped free right to your doorstep. Simply take their two minute online quiz and they'll create a custom plan for you. You can even send in a soil sample to fine tune your plan perfectly. And third is cost. I'm actually saving hundreds this year by using Sunday. If your lawn is under 13,000 square feet, 
They'll set you up with a liquid plan that's applied with a garden hose. Or if your lawn is larger, they'll send a granular product that you apply with a spreader. If you want a professional looking lawn this summer, go to GetSunday.com slash Main and use promo code Main30 for 30% off your first custom lawn plan. You'll find the link and the promo code down in the video description. Okay, now I'll show you how the California 3-Way actually works. 3-Way switches work by connecting our black common screw to one of our gold traveler screws depending on the position of the switch. Let's see what happens with our four possible switch positions. Let's start out with switch one in the up position, draw a little red line here, and switch two in the down position. So our hot wire comes down from receptacle one to switch one, through switch one, across the black wire over to switch two, through switch two, and then up to our light. Our neutral returns current back to the source, so we have a complete circuit and our light will be on. Now let's move switch two to the up position. This time our power comes down from the receptacle, again through switch one, across the switch two, through switch two, oop, and then back to switch one again, so we have a loop here. The power doesn't make its way up to our light, so the light will be switched off. Now let's move switch one to the down position. This time our power comes down from our receptacle to switch one, goes across to switch two, through switch two, across our black wire to common on switch one, across switch one, over, and then up to our light. The neutral returns the current again, so now our light will be back on. Now let's move switch two to the down position. This time our power comes from receptacle one, down to switch one, can't get across switch one, goes across to switch two, can't get across switch two, so there is no path to our light. So again, our light will be off. As you can see with this setup, even with our lights off or on, it doesn't matter, our power continues on the circuit onto our other receptacles and whatever might be downstream up here. The California three-way is a pretty clever way of wiring three-way switches, but is it code compliant? Let's go to the code book. All the way back in 2011, Article 4042 of the NEC was updated to require a neutral conductor at light switches. The reason for the update was many new lighting controls and smart switches were being introduced, which required a neutral wire to keep the electronics functioning. But Article 4042 also states that where multiple switches control the same lights, a neutral wire is only required at one of the switches. So this means with three-way and four-way switches, at least one of them will require a neutral conductor, making the California three-way an obsolete method. I'll link the Deadly Chicago three-way video right here for you to watch next and be on the lookout for the dead-end three-way coming soon. Thank you to Sunday for sponsoring today's video and remember to check out the link in the description to get 30% off your custom lawn plan. I'm John from Backyard, Maine. See you on the next one.